All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Bearded Truth. Today, I've got Daniel, the Bearded Apprentice, Beard Product Reviewer, Content Creator here for uh, episode 13. How you doing? All right, brother. How are you doing? Pretty good. I'm, I'm a little tired. I was up late uh, working on some content um, for Instagram. Um, but yeah, looking forward to this. Um, yeah, for sure. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I hear exactly what you're saying. I'm tired as well, dude. Yeah, totally. Stay tired though. <laughs> oh yeah, always tired. <laughs> yep. Um, so why don't you uh, kind of introduce yourself to the audience and uh, tell them a little bit about what you do? Um, well, let's see. I'm Daniel. Um, I started my beard journey. I don't know, probably five years ago. Uh, a few times I wanted to shave it off. My fiance was like, "No, keep it, keep it." And, Nice. I'll just let it, you know what I mean? Let it keep mm-hmm. growing. Yep. And, um, let's see. A little bit about me. Um, I work a lot. Cool. Um, have a new daughter. Cool. Um, have a 14-year-old son. Nice. Um, what else? Think an allowed dog. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he likes cool. to bark <laughs> at the most inopportune times. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. <laughs> yeah, man. Like I, uh, I operate heavy equipment. Cool. Uh, do concrete. Do plumbing. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, just about anything with these. Solid. That's awesome. Um, what, what was, uh, what were some of your early beard products that you, uh, that you tried? I started. I luckily I started with honest, honest Amish. Ooh, cool. Okay. Yeah, I've heard some horror stories. Oh yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> and, you know what I mean? And. I I just got to thinking. I was like, man, there's got to be something else out there, like something with a scent to it, mm-hmm. something something a little bit more pleasant, you know. So sure. I just started googling, mm-hmm. cool. and down the rabbit hole I went. Oh yeah, <laughs> yep, yep, <laughs> that's cool. Um, what are uh, what are some of your favorite companies that you've uh, reviewed so far? My favorite companies or companies yeah. I've reviewed. Favorite, like favorite companies. Uh, yeah. All right. My favorite companies, I would have to say um, Chesapeake. Okay. Cool. Uh, Taylor Beard. Mm-hmm. Um, and I have so many, dude. Yeah. It, it's almost by scent profile. Like okay. Chesapeake has a really nice uh, oud scent mm-hmm. and uh, fall scent. And then cool. like Taylor Beard, he has like everything in oud you can think of. Nice. So uh, then... Uh, Beach Bum has a really nice, um, like, um, tropical scent. Okay, cool. And then uh, within the last probably four or five months, I've discovered uh, Black Rebel. Ooh, yep. And good things. I'm, I'm starting to amass a uh, nice collection of that as well. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, it kind of really just depends on, you know what I mean, what scent profile I'm looking for. Mm, for sure. Um, what's – if you could only use one company for the rest of your life, which one would you go with? If I could only use one company for the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Man, there's so many I haven't tried. Uh, man. Probably anointed AK. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Probably cool. Sweet. Um, which which do you use more, beard butter or uh, beard balm, or is it equal? Um, I'd say equal right now because I cool. use a lot of balm at work. Okay. For hold, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. For sure. And butter at night. Okay. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Solid. Yeah, I started out like pretty much like like balm, like only balm, but then recently I've been uh, I've been using. Uh, a beard butter from a Canadian company called uh, Urban Beards, um, and it's it's awesome. It's like a minty minty kind of smell to it, and it's like very light and airy. Um, it's it's a good one. And I I just got one sent to me from uh, RDS Man recently, so I've been testing that out, um, and that's been very very different texture than uh, than the one from Urban Beards. Uh, funny you mentioned RDS Man. Uh, mm-hmm. That was one of the first like product products I tried. Mm-hmm. When I went down the rabbit hole, I found it on Scuba's channel. Mm-hmm. Um, Scuba was the first one I kind of found. Yep. And uh, he started pushing, well, not pushing, but 
talking about RDS man they had yeah. free samples mm-hmm. so I was like all right cool I'll check out the free samples mm-hmm. well the oil the the carrier blend is very nice mm-hmm. my Facts. yep uh the scents too strong way oh too strong. fair yep for me I like a strong scent but the three samples I got they all smelled the same to me oh I had three wood T3 and something else and they all smelled the same to me they were just too much mix of a wood floral just it just uh, interesting too much going on okay yeah um yeah so they sent me along with the uh the beard butter and the uh and the uh beard wash uh recently they sent me all 20 of their scents um wow you can see some of them there behind me and well, actually, i watched you unbox them yeah yeah well that's right yeah you're, yeah, you're there right yeah so yeah so those ones came in and like just before they arrived, uh, Artie's man messaged me and they were like, yeah, we, uh, we sc- like the sh- UPS screwed up your, uh, like your shipping, um, and like sent it somewhere else. So they're like, we'll, we'll send you another one. Um, and then, so the, the second one arrived, um, and that was last, whatever, when, whenever I went live, it arrived that day. Um, mm-hmm. and then just today I'm sitting here working at my computer and another box from RDS Man arrives, and I think, and it was the original, it was the original, um, yeah, it was the original order. Um, <laughs> so, so now I have, so you can see those ones behind me, and then the two shelves of that little, that little set of drawers. That, yes. That's, that's all RDS Man. <laughs> yeah, I want to try RDS Man's butter. Yeah, it's nice. It's uh, like, I think it's uh, Winter Chill is the one I want to yeah, try. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah I've tried the, uh, I've tried the oil in that one. It's, it's nice. Well, I don't know if you know, but uh, I think it was, I don't know, about a month ago, Artius Man was on Dan C's channel, and oh, really? uh, okay. they sparked the idea of making a thinner oil. Oh, because, yeah, because I know that's, that's Dan C's, like, biggest thing about them is that the oil mm-hmm. is so thick. Yeah, so Ooh. they got a whole, they got a whole thing coming, man. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, um, sir, go ahead. I was just going to say, like, I really want to try their butter. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Definitely worth it for sure. Um, it's on my list. Yep. Yeah, it's it's nice. Um, but, yeah, you're definitely right about the scents being quite strong. Um, I've got Bay Rum in, in my in beard right now um, in one of the samples. Um, and it's definitely – I just put it in, so it's it's strong. But I tried um, – <laughs> but I tried the black coffee one recently. Mm-hmm. Um and then I worked a five hour shift and like had to wear a mask cause I was in a store. Um, and I could, so I put, I put it on initially at like 9am and then I could still smell it by like 7pm when I was recording another episode. <laughs> oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I was like, it's, it was crazy, <laughs> but um, yeah, not all of them that I've tried are, are quite like that, but there's definitely some that are, all well, day. the three that I had, the three samples that I got, like everything was like super strong, and I was yep. just like, "There's too much going on in this." Yeah. Just yeah, this. I mean, it wasn't that it was bad for sure. It was just too much going on in that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I tried. Um, I I used um, like when I first initially smelled three wood, I was like, "Ooh, I kind of like this," but then when I tried it in beard, I was like, "I don't know how I feel about this." <laughs> it's just it was yeah. Like you were saying, definitely a lot going on for sure. So, um, what what's your favorite company that you've tried? Um, well, as of late, Artie's man. Um, also, um, there's a Canadian company called Educated Beards. Um, oh yeah. Yep. Um, I'm familiar with Educated. Yeah. Yep. So they sent me a whole bunch of their stuff to review. Um, so I've been using that a lot, and it's it's definitely not not cheap stuff, but it's really good. Like nice ingredients great packaging like the oil's nice and thick like not as thick not quite as thick as Artius, but still like thicker than some that i've tried um oh and then there's a uh, i tried lumberjack beard oil from uh barn brand beards recently and I it's like barn brand. yeah they're out in uh alabama i think um yeah. and their uh their lumberjack smells exactly like a christmas tree really and I, i'm like a big fan of like christmas and so i was Definitely, definitely enjoying that for sure. And then Urban Beards for their beard butter. Um, yeah, yeah, it's it's been fun. Like, because I've just been kind of like really like in getting into like beard stuff like over the last few months. So it's been fun like trying out all the different products and like 
meeting people and getting to talk to different people like who have been in the scene and that's that's the best part for me man um mm-hmm. the the real brotherhood of it mm-hmm. the belonging to something and talking being able to have an intelligent conversation mm-hmm. with uh with like-minded people you mm-hmm. know what i mean facts there is disagreements don't get me wrong of course um, every beard is different yep uh some some beards can take any product some mm-hmm. beards can not you know what i mean like yeah totally like grape, grape seed isn't a very good uh carrier for me okay it, it sits on my beard it doesn't want to absorb as well hmm interesting um, if it's lower on the carrier blend i can use it okay but if it's like one of the top main ingredients mm. like it's it's a stretch okay. sometimes interesting um I got, i've learned a lot of the science behind it yeah totally that's cool. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's definitely been fun. Like, because I've had a few different owners on uh, this podcast, and like, it's been cool to like hear uh, kind of like what they go through to like test out the pro, test out their like products, and experiment and fiddle and adjust all the different things. And it's like it, there's a whole science to it, which I don't think if you're not like really in the scene, you just kind of like, oh, it's just like it's nothing, nothing crazy, but right, a lot that goes into it. <laughs> it looks, it looks a lot simpler. Yeah, totally is involved Mm -hmm. um what made you want to start doing youtube videos well uh for one it had to do with uh i had the blue collar lifestyle you know what i mean i work hard for my money Mm -hmm. um and with the way the you know with the pandemic and that you know it hit everybody and money became tighter Mm -hmm. so you i wanted to put my opinion out there to maybe save a guy from buyer's remorse yeah or you know educate people to what i had learned from you know because for the longest time i would just sit in the lives i wouldn't communicate i would just listen Mm -hmm. and um i just wanted to help educate people man like totally buyer's remorse is real Mm -hmm. like especially when you're spending (laughs) 25 bucks a bottle or (laughs) 35 for a combo yeah, you know what I mean. Oh yeah, money's not as easy to let go of anymore. Mm-hmm. So totally, like I, like I told, uh, well, just about everybody. You know, if I can help one person, my job's done, dude. Hundred percent. Yep, totally. Yeah, yeah, totally. Definitely, definitely. Some products out there that you're just like, and like, like I, I use what what kind of started me like in like beard products and all that kind of thing was like dealing with uh, with the beard struggle, um, and like trying their products and like since then like trying all the other different things that I've tried, like the beard struggle is it's, it's one of those companies. It's, it's a, one of those big companies. that's like, you're paying for the, uh, for the name and the logo and like not super great products. <laughs> right. I get that. Uh, mm-hmm. I personally haven't used it. Um, do it. <laughs> I've heard numerous stories. Oh yeah. <laughs> and that's the way I look at it, man. Everybody has an opinion. Of course. There's been some opinions on some of my favorite oils. Mm-hmm. that I used that I got. And I was like, man, if I went by that opinion, I would have never tried that oil. Yeah, totally. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, you know, I've done some reviews that uh, weren't so uh, welcomed, I guess. Oh, yeah. Say. Yep. Same. <laughs> yeah. Like I, you know, I caught a lot of blowback for it and it wasn't because I was um, rude or anything like that. It's just, I try to be constructive with my reviews and not of destructive. Course. You know yep. what I mean? And of course I try to do it in a classy way. And, mm-hmm. you know, cause I wouldn't want somebody like downtrodden my, my work, you know, what I mean? mm, my life. Totally. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, sometimes you pay for the name. Sometimes you pay for the ingredients. Yeah, totally. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, I kind of similar, like when I reviewed the, uh, the beard circle recently, cause I had a whole bunch of their products and like when I put that review out, like I got like, like actual, like hateful messages, like, personally sent like sent to me from like people within within the beard struggle it was like whoa this is this was not expected i was just honest and like i like i tried and i had people that that watched it message me and be like yeah you you were so much nicer than you could have been and like what what Mm -hmm. they deserved um yeah i mean everybody wants honesty until it doesn't fit their agenda (laughs) yep that's That's right there Mm -hmm. you know what i mean yep facts um, like I have noticed though, to kind of change a little bit for sure, the difference in ingredients in like Canada, the UK, uh, Australia, 
100%. compared to the ingredients here. Okay. Like there's a lot different structure. Mm, okay. Like in the UK, they uh, they have to get like new scents approved before they can just drop them. They have okay. to go through a whole process. Yep. I don't know how it is in Canada. But yeah, I don't. I don't know much about that. Like, they they have a whole different structure on how everything's put together. Mm -hmm. And there's certain ingredients you can't use. And then you come and look in the states, and it's like some of these companies that are selling uh, beard oil, not necessarily small batch or handmade but your bigger companies, it's like, what are those ingredients for? Mm -hmm. I know I can pick up one of these bottles and damn near name off every ingredient in it. Yeah. There's like five yep. at the most, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Then you go and you look, you pick up something at Walmart. It's got 32 different things yeah. you can't pronounce. <laughs> yep. But I have noticed that and it's, it's, it, that's a big deal for me. Like totally. I got, I had cancer when I was 31. So okay. I watched what I put on my body. Yeah, of course. So, that's a big deal for me. Yeah, for I don't sure. Know how it is for you? I don't know if you pay attention to ingredients. Oh, definitely. I feel like, well, especially especially if you're like reviewing them, um, mm -hmm. you, you you have to like it's got to be, it's got to be at least like in your mind, like to some degree. Um, just because especially and like especially with, like as you as you grow, like people are trusting your opinion and like your thoughts on like whether they should uh, and like basing like whether they should spend their money at least partially on uh on what you're saying so if you're like withholding information or like not reading like all the ingredients like somebody might buy that thinking it's good and then it like wrecks their beard and like mm -hmm. yeah so you gotta Absolutely. yeah you gotta pay attention to all that for sure trying to get this lighting better for some <laughs> reason it's not one to work yeah, that's that's always the way. It's like, even with all the lights I have, like I have like seven to ten lights in here, um, just because it's it's a basement like storage room. Um, but oh wait, some light here. Hold it. Um, but yeah, it's yeah, lighting's lighting's tricky for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have some other stuff coming. Oh, uh, okay. I, I got big, you know, like I've been spending most of my time on Instagram, like mm -hmm. yeah. promotion and doing live streams and stuff like that. And just saving my channel for content. Yeah. Same. But, uh, I have more plans. Like, cool. Cool. Nice. I have, I don't really want to go into it too much. No, but of course. I have, for sure. I have a show coming and okay, cool. a total different concept. Nice. Um, I've experienced a decent growth in the short amount of time that I've been doing this. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it has to do with my honesty and the way I approach things. Of course. Um, I'm not going to tell you something's good. If it's not good, I'm yeah, going to be that's, honest. That's the way it should be. Um, I know there's some uh, misconceptions that, you know, I don't pay for a lot of my products. I do pay for a lot of my products, like 95 to 98% yep. of mm -hmm. my products. Mm -hmm. uh, companies do reach out. And if we can come to an agreement, they, they send me product. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I don't take product unless I know I can review it. Okay, I have cool. a schedule. Yep. You know what I mean? Smart. But uh, there's, there's a lot of misconceptions between uh, owners or company makers and content creators and then totally. the community. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, facts, 100%. But yeah, I'm going to try and transition more to my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Cool. I got a new mic in. I got some nice. lighting coming. Nice. Got some other stuff going on. So cool. That's awesome. Yeah. I just got a, uh, I just got a new uh, live mic in on Saturday that I'm, I'm going to be testing out hopefully, um, hopefully like this Friday and doing it. Cause I've been, cause I've had the stuff from uh, educated beards for, for a while now. I've just been like so busy between like working and like I'm in college for business marketing. So like, nice. that's been busy. Um, so, but I, I don't think I'm like, my schedule is fairly open on Friday. So I think I'm going to test out that microphone and finally film a uh, film review for educated beards. <laughs> Do it. Mm -hmm. Do it. Uh, yeah. Like this is the first time I've used this new mic. Okay, cool. And uh, what else? I didn't get my webcam set up. I'm just okay. using my regular webcam right now. Yeah. I have a new uh, 4K autofocus Ooh. that I'm going to try and use. Nice. 
but I didn't have a chance to get it set up. But yeah, totally. Yeah, I'm excited, man. Like, mm-hmm. I'm trying to just build something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, same here. Like, yeah, definitely investing in like gear and all that kind of stuff. Because like I've been doing YouTube for three years at this point, but really it's been like in the last like year or so that I've been really like getting more lights, upgrading my microphone. Just because I, I would eventually I would like to just do this all the time. Like Oh yeah, it'd be great, dude. Mm-hmm. That's that's what I told that's what I told my fiance. I said this would be great if I could just uh create content and yeah. get out put out you know put out honest reviews and Mm -hmm. um you know just do this it'd be great but totally doesn't pay you know what i mean (laughs) yeah and i don't do it i mean don't get me wrong it would be nice if it was paid of course i know at this point that there's no money involved so yeah i'll have to you know do a regular job yeah (laughs) totally yep um what got you into this Ooh, good question um so Earlier this year, like, I was off work and wasn't in school, um, and I was, like, I was kind of, like, early on, like, a couple months in, of like, being involved with the beard struggle, and I met a guy um, also within the beard struggle, and we were, like, talking a lot and chatting, and um, and we were, like, yo, we should just do a podcast. We might be funny. It might be fun. Um, So, then it kind of started there, and we did 32 episodes of that podcast together, and then he bounced out <laughs> um and then i did a few episodes like i finished out that ep- that podcast with like three or four episodes on my own and then rebranded with another co-host for eight or nine episodes and then he bounced out um and then i just because like I, I really enjoy doing this so i just wanted to keep doing it in some way so i figured like as like i've as i've gotten in, more into like doing beard reviews like Oh, it might be cool to start getting like owners and other content creators um, on for conversations and talk talk to them, talk about what they're doing, um, give them more like extra audience, um, give like a few more eyes on what they're on their stuff, um, and it's kind of just something to keep me busy. Like I enjoy making videos, but also the, like one one of the things that I've been enjoying about this like podcasting is the editing is very minimal. So I can, I can get a lot of the episodes done like pretty quickly. <laughs> Dude, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you have, I'm sure you've checked out some of my content by yep. now. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I was watching like three or four videos, videos today. What you see in my videos is what I recorded. Oh, cool. Okay. The only thing I add is the intro and then the out, um, yeah. file. Cool. Uh, that's going to change soon. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know if you caught any of my live streams on Instagram. Uh, I don't think I have yet. It's totally different. Okay. okay. So when I'm on Instagram, it's just like, oh yeah, you know, I'm into it, having fun, whatnot. But it's like when I set that camera up to do a video, I'm just like, uh, <laughs> like it's, <laughs> it's hard to talk to a, just a, a camera. Of course. For me. Yeah. No. Hundred you know I mean? percent. Yep. Yeah. Totally. So that's something I got to get over. Yeah. Fair. And because uh, I've done some reviews, and the owner was like. Uh, man, that was great. All the information was great. You were very thorough, mm-hmm. but you look like you were about to fall asleep. <laughs> I was like, well, <laughs> probably because I'm tired for one, because I, yep. I shoot my content after the baby's asleep. Yeah. Like everything else is done. I come in here and I do my content. Okay. And I'm, you know, I mean, it's late and I got to yeah. get up but ass early the next morning. <laughs> totally. <laughs> but yeah, I got to get over that like stage fright, I guess you would call it. I don't know. Yeah. No, 100%. Yeah. Um, but when I'm live, it's a different story. Of course. Well, yeah, because then, because with the live, you got people, like, interacting in the chat, like, talking back and forth, like, throwing out questions, like, so you have something to, like, feed actual off. people to, like, interact with and, like, feed off of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably yeah. what it is. 100%. Yeah, because you're but, like, oh, why, like, you're just sitting in a room by yourself, staring at this, like, weird look, like, this weird camera, and you're like, this is I'm not the same. To convince somebody you know, that <laughs> this is either good or bad. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. It, it gets a little frustrating sometimes. For sure. Totally. So, so um, what kind of products are you looking to get into, like in the future? What what companies are you looking forward to using? 
I have a list of about 50. <laughs> oh. Um, so, Ooh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I've done well, episodes. Keep, keep doing these and you'll have multiple discount codes. You can True, get discount yeah. codes from every content creator. <laughs> <laughs> totally, yep. Um, yeah, that's, that is a good point. Yep. Um, and also for everybody watching, I'll have uh, Daniel's discount links uh, down below if you want to check those out, get some products. Um, uh, yeah, but so, oh man, I want to check out Fable. Cause I've heard good things about them. Uh, Beard Octane, um, Ch 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 Chesapeake Bay, uh, Taylor Beards, um, Detroit Grooming. Um, uh, Copper Johns. Um, Cause I had Tyson on my podcast. Um, Bearded Coast. Um, I have Bearded Coast coming. Ooh, nice. Salty vibes. Yeah. Okay. I've heard good things about that one. That's awesome. But yeah, there's yeah. a nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But there's, there's so many. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, Fable did work for me. Okay. Why? It, I don't know. I, I still can't figure it out. It mm, could be it's something to do with the carrier blend. For sure. But I've talked to numerous people and I've tried to do my own little research and mm -hmm. uh, it just, it, it, it gets, it turns into a grease, man. Like it. Oh, okay. Hmm. My beard, like right here, like right here. Yeah. It turns it into like a grease pit right there. Huh. So. Interesting. But other, you know what I mean? Um, beard Octane I've used. Yeah. I, I use their uh, LCW as a, uh, yep. almost like a daily wash. Cool. Because I have to wash daily because of work. Yeah, of course. Uh, the Chesapeake. I have Chesapeake up here. Mm -hmm. Back here. Yeah. Uh, and I got more coming. Cool. Uh, what else? Taylor Beard. I have a whole rack of back here behind yep. me. Yeah, I can see him there. Nice. Uh, like 10 or 12 bottles of that. He's got like 32. So wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Copper Johns. Yep. Like the last cast, that, that scent is a perfect nighttime scent. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, perfect, man. It's it's very relaxing. Uh, nice. Angler's Code. Yeah. Also, it's very, very nice. That's what I ordered, and he yeah. threw in the last cast. Nice. Um, what else did you mention? Oh, Detroit Grooming. Uh, Belle Isle is a very mm -hmm. nice citrus scent. Yeah. It's great for nighttime as well. Yeah. I have I have their beard wash, their body wash, their shampoo. Cool. Um, some other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm starting to work my way into the small, like smaller, small. Not that Detroit Grooming or Beard Octane is big. Yeah. Like. I go more toward the guy that's still doing it, you know I mean? Basically off a website that, you know, you can yeah. literally, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And that's, that's a, another reason, like one of the reasons why I wanted to like start doing this, uh, this podcast is just like getting some more eyes on the, uh, on like a lot of the small companies. Cause there's so many good ones and like, just like so many, and the, there's, cause there's a lot of big ones that are like taking so much of like, the spotlight and and like people's attention. So like, yeah, like trying to get more eyes on the, uh, on the small companies. Definitely. So like a lot of the I ones mean, on my list are like a lot of, are, don't get me wrong. Like mm -hmm. those like chest peak beard octane, those guys make quality products. Of They've course. Doing it for so, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They they do the research. They do, you know what I mean? Uh, they have their testers. They have, they have a nice network of things that helps them go through, things a little bit quicker you know what i mean yeah. and they put out quality products don't get me wrong mm -hmm. like my favorite fall scent is scarecrow by chess oh cool yep favorite that's a, man. that's an awesome like, bottle yeah it's clean it's nice yeah it's the point it's streamlined it's mm -hmm. not a whole bunch of frilly stuff on it you know what i mean <laughs> yeah totally like, but i just like seeing what everybody because if you really once you get into this community a little bit further, you'll notice that it's a little bit more saturated than what meets the eye. Oh, for sure. You know, everybody's putting out quality products. Yeah, totally. Minus a few companies, but <laughs> yeah, everybody's putting out quality products. So there's more stuff being spread around. Mm -hmm. more, you know I mean? It's not everybody's running to beard octane. Now it's three guys out of 10 are running to beard octane. The other yeah. seven guys are going seven different ways. Yeah, totally. Yeah, and it's I, so true. <laughs> I, just, I like to see the growth, man. Like, it's awesome. For sure. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's, like, it's fun to see, 
like, like hopping in like in, like Instagram lives and seeing like all the different companies come in and like interact and say hi and like all the different reviewers and like mm -hmm. people that are like in the scene. It's fun to just see like all the like all like the, the camaraderie of it and oh yeah man you jump in a live on, yeah on youtube or instagram and the first 30 minutes of that live stream is just everybody greeting each other totally yep <laughs> and then like if a new guy you know the, a guy will come in he's like hey first time here and everybody's like hello hey how you doing uh <laughs> you know giving suggestions or if there's a giveaway they'll pass it to the new guy just to get you know what i mean yeah well, totally like that's awesome. There is camaraderie, man. Of there's, course, 100%. There's a lot of it, and it's yep. a good thing to see. Totally. Yeah, and it's also it's also cool to see how, like, um, even – like, I've seen it happen on, like, on, on my page and, like, other pages. Like, somebody will post something about a company, like, some, like, cool photos or something. Mm -hmm. And then other, like, small companies will come in and show love, like, all this cool photo, like, great mm -hmm. review, all that kind of stuff. And it's cool to see that. Yeah, I did a, uh, I dropped a review on Beer Gents today. I don't know okay. if you've heard of Beer Gents, but very nice company. I, I, saw, I, think, I think I saw you, yeah, I saw your post about it. Oh, no, I uh, think I did. I, I watched it too, yeah. Yep. There's, there was multiple other companies that, you know, I have a connection with that shared mm -hmm. my, you know what I mean? My post mm -hmm. about it. It's like, oh, Daniel dropped a new uh, review today uh, on Beer Gents. And, you know, like, once you build those relationships with these people, like, the lines are no longer there you know mm -hmm. there's no walls it's like nah daniel's doing it so totally we'll help daniel out yeah we'll help out that company yeah totally like because there's just and companies do product swaps all the time mm -hmm. so yeah good thing to see yeah 100 percent. yeah and it's cool like even like i've seen like i've talked to owners like I, I think uh i think it was scott from bearded coast posted in his story that he like picked up something from somebody else, like from some other company recently i was like that's awesome like yeah like not only like you're, like you're still like out here making your own products but you're still like going out of your way to like support mm -hmm. like other companies like that's awesome and that's what they do they they all try to support each other the best mm -hmm. that they can to an extent you know what i mean of course yeah like it's it's a good thing man like it really totally. is it's a good thing that you get that much testosterone in one area <laughs> and it works you know totally I mean? yep yeah, hundred percent. It's yeah, and it's cool. Like everybody wants to see everybody grow. There's not there's not that like like me first kind of attitude in like like most of most of the beer industry, which is really cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, to a certain extent. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I mean, there's there always, is some me yeah, first. But yeah, you have oh, yeah, that of first thing. You yeah. have that. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. There's no. There's never going to be a perfect situation or like oh no flawless Absolutely flawless not. industry. But no. Nah. Yeah, for the most part, like like since like being like involved in the bearded community it's just like lots of good dudes like cool companies well i mean you men's grooming is a 30 billion dollar a year industry 30, 30 billion, billion. jeez yeah. so I didn't realize it was that big. that's why you see so many people like putting out junk product because they want their <laughs> piece of the pie yep you True. know what i mean they can slap some stuff together or have another company make it and slap a label on it and ship it yep. out the door True. Yeah. And make 15 bucks. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's, it's, yep. it's a huge industry. Mm -hmm. Totally. It's no longer just men or women's, you know, makeup and hair products. It's men's grooming is a big deal now. Yeah, totally. Yeah. It's, yeah. And we're coming into the biggest month of the year for men's grooming. <laughs> yep. You know, yeah. Like, so a yep. lot of these companies are already gearing up sales and all kinds of stuff. And yep. well, it, I mean, just in the last six months alone, man, the beard community has raised over $20,000 for charities. Wow. That's doing awesome. Auctions and yep. you know, all these companies just donating product and, mm -hmm. you know, you know, if somebody needs something or somebody reaches out, you know, like mm -hmm. everybody kind of takes care of everybody. Yep. That's what's up. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Um, when you're uh, when you're making your YouTube videos, what's the what's the process like? Like, do you do a lot of research before you go in, or do you like how does that yeah, all how does that all go together? Uh, I've talked to a few other guys, and they're like, "Man, it looks like you just um kind of it it has a lot to do with that." What I was saying earlier about stage fright, yeah. But they say it doesn't look like I'm like all that prepared, or I need to prepare more. Like mm. I go days. I have a notebook that every day i'm writing down what i'm you know i mean because i test for seven to eight days cool each yeah product. for sure each company sorry. yeah and yeah. 
I have notes and it's just, I don't take my notes up so I can't read off of them and I start <laughs> losing stuff. But yeah. yeah, there's a lot of prep that goes into it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I write, I have one of these for each company. Oh, wow. Like cool. A little journal type thing for each. Company. Nice. That's awesome. And I just keep notes from the day. Like, like how did it work at work? What was I doing while I was at work? Was I sweating? Was mm -hmm. I not sweating? Cool. Was it dirty? Was it windy, dusty? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. And then that's, that's cool. Like down the road, because like those companies that they release products and then they'll like reformulate them or like readjust them like down the line. So you can like, have all your previous like reactions to the product um mm -hmm. if you like revisit them in like, yeah, a, new, see, a new iteration yeah that that'll be more toward next year yeah because there's, there's a lot of companies that have been coming back with new stuff new scents. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. you know a lot of companies have that one fall or that one summer scent that they re-release every year but they come with new stuff mm -hmm. and uh me personally if i'm going to re-review a company i'm going to go through the whole review or the testing process mm -hmm. all the way again because of different times of year your beard's going to react differently mm -hmm. your hydration intake your i mean there's a lot that goes into it mm -hmm. so yeah i'm pretty thorough on testing of course i mean that's yeah. less expensive in the grand <laughs> scheme of things i mean oh yeah really oh yeah <laughs> yep yes it is <laughs> i mean yeah. especially like me i have a personal collection yeah Oh yeah, for sure. These up here are like a personal collection. Yeah. My review stuff is in a different area. Oh, I mean, like, okay. Cool. Yeah. Like I've reviewed these companies. Yeah. But I've built my personal collection. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Off of that. Okay, cool. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I talked to um to Seth from Iowa Craft Crafted Bearded. Yeah. Um, yeah on saturday yeah, on saturday night yeah awesome dude. we talked for five hours straight <laughs> that's what he told me man yeah like yep. i told him i might be doing this and he was yep. like dude it's a good time i was on there for like five <laughs> hours i was like wow i don't have five hours but yeah yep. <laughs> that's awesome though i mean yeah but yeah his uh, uh like his his beard product wall is crazy like <laughs> mm -hmm. he's got a nice setup yeah and see that's like i was telling a few guys earlier i was like mm -hmm. I don't have everything set up the way I want it set up because yeah, I'm same. building another house. Oh, okay. So I don't want to go through the process of building all these shelves just to tear them all back down and move them. Of course. That makes sense. So now I just bought some shelves to hang for now. That yeah, way true. When I go to my new house. I can build what I want. Of course. Yep. hundred percent. Yeah. I want to, um, I, like, I want to figure out a better way to like display all my beard products. Cause right now they're just in like a set of, like basically a bigger version of this one, yeah. this one back here. Yeah, like I have I wanna, one of those down here. Yeah, yeah. But like, I want to have them like on on a shelf behind me when I'm filming because I film against that wall. Um, but I want to, I want to well, like. You could use what you have right now, something similar to that. True. Yeah. 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 And Amazon sells acrylic shelves. Yep. For nail polish. Yep. True. Get those, man, and you can just looks nice. And yeah, totally. Hiding it behind it and yep. illuminate. Yeah. Yeah, but I have actually have a um, like a big like storage shelf like in the closet over here. Um, that's kind of not being used as efficiently as it could be. Mm -hmm. So like I think either later on tonight or like tomorrow I'm gonna clear it all off and then like reorganize it and bring it out into this main area and put all my beard stuff on the shelf like right, so it's right behind me when I'm filming. Oh yeah. Just so it looks a little better than just like a blue sheet and yeah the edges first, of a concrete wall <laughs> my my very first video i shot at my kitchen table yep had the camera turned the wrong way it was horrible <laughs> audio horrible <laughs> and uh, i was like well i mean i was talking to twitch and a few other guys and they're like yeah do it and get it over with or you'll never do it totally like, oh, facts so i did it and it was horrible and <laughs> it's gotten a little better but oh yeah it's 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 a process, man. Like hundred <laughs> percent, getting in the mental state for it. Sometimes. Oh, of course. Yeah, totally. Yeah, especially like you're like after like a long day of work, or you're like just busy doing stuff, and then you're like, oh, I gotta gotta sit down and film a video. Like a lot of, and that's that's another thing. Like a lot, a lot of people think you just turn turn the camera on, sit down, and start talking, but there's a lot more that goes into mm -hmm. it than just that. <laughs> yeah, gotta get the lighting right. Gotta get 
got to get my mic turned on because when I film up until now, I've been using a lapel mic. Oh, cool. I just clip up my beard here. Yeah. Run it up in my shirt. Yeah. And you can't see it. Mm -hmm. But now I have my other mic now and I'm going to try and cool. use it. But yeah, there's a process, man. 100%. Even if my, <laughs> even if my videos do look disheveled and uh, threw together, there's a process to it. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Like, no, I can only really imagine how some guys do it. Like Dan yeah. C has a crazy setup. Yep. Yeah. Um, the new guy, all things bearded. I don't know if yeah. you watched anything from him. His videos, I think are, I have. his audio is clear and like his videos look like motion pictures. Ooh. I mean, it's cool. beautiful. I I enjoy watching his content just to watch the way he's filmed stuff. Yeah, of course. And yeah. I've told him this numerous times. <laughs> totally. I'm like, That's dude, awesome. I fanboy when I go to watch your videos. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It's crazy. Yeah, like, no, totally. Yeah. Yeah. That's content goals right there. Mm-hmm. Facts. But yeah, like I go like I'll go back every once in a while and watch like my first video like three years ago. And it's just like, oh this is this is just not good. <laughs> like just like <laughs> like the mic's too close or like the camera's at a weird angle, things aren't totally in focus, like it's just oh <laughs> and, uh dude a lot of times when I go to show a product, like it doesn't want to focus. My camera oh, yeah. will not focus and it, oh, it irritates me so bad. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Like, so bad. yeah. Like a lot of my like Instagram videos, I film just using my Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Um, mm -hmm. And sometimes the audio, the autofocus just kind of freaks out and like, doesn't want to work. Like, so I have to, so I have to like, go in, like there'll be, there'll be shots that I'm taking I have to go in like manually like tap on the tap to get to focus and then like move back and then get the shot again. And it's just, yeah, it's just, it's, it's finicky for sure. <laughs> Hold on. I got to send this real quick. Yeah. No stress. <laughs> um, so do you have, how, how many owners have you had or company owners have you had on your show? So I've had Colt Slack from Slack Squatch. Um, oh, dude, uh, he's awesome. Yeah, so I, cool. I, I talk to him like basically every day. Yeah, he's a super cool dude, man. Yeah, facts. Yeah, so he was the first owner that I had on. Um, and then I had Tyson from Copper Johns. Tyson's um, an amazing guy. Yeah, facts. How many times I've got a hold of him late at night just yeah. just because I needed to like unwind or vent. And totally. he's like, all right, man, yeah. Like, nice. We'll sit there and conversate, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Totally um scott from bearded coast grooming super cool yeah um pull up my my youtube here quickly i tell you somebody you should have on sometime and that's matt from bay area beard Ooh. he's my twin we call each other twin a lot of people think we look the same i okay. had a guy i had a guy that uh uh he was going to subscribe to my youtube channel yeah and then he sent me a dm and he was like hey man don't i already follow you and i was like <laughs> No, he's like, yeah, you won't bear a beard, and I was like, no, bro, that's not me. He's like, you guys look like similar, but yeah, he's a cool guy, man. Um, what? Well, sorry, what was his name again? I'm Matt it down. Bay Area Beard Company. Matt. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, I'll, I'll reach out. Um, he does uh, biblical beard. Oh yeah, yeah. I was. I think I watched your uh, your unboxing on them today. Best best packaging in the game, dude. Yeah, totally. Everything comes in a tube. Wow, and everything is seal. hand stamped. Yeah, that's wow. hand stamped. Yeah, yeah. totally. And that's amazing. He has, he does wax stamps on the bottle too. Wow. Which he's getting away from that because people complain that the scent names aren't on the bottles. So, hmm. fair. So now he's going to go into stickers, but <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah. Colt, um, Tyson. Scott, um, Johnny from Beard Brothers. Um, haven't haven't met him or really spoke to him. I want a giveaway from somebody uh, that they were. It was a oil and comb from Beard Brothers. I just received cool. that. I have yeah. had to use it. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I just did just posted that episode with with Johnny. Um, it's it's Monday. Yeah, I posted it yesterday morning, so it's it's live now. Um, Definitely, definitely a good time. I'll go um, check it out. Yeah. Um, and then Andy from uh, Beard Kings out in the UK. He's uh, 
he's like he he's launching products in a couple of weeks. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, so he doesn't have any like beard products out quite yet, but I think Neil from Maverick Beards or from Maverick Reviews has spoke to me about him. Yeah. Yeah. He. Yeah. I talked to him like because I, I met him through like being part of the beard struggle, and we talk like quite often as well. Um, and he's uh he's launching like his oils and balms and wash um uh, in a couple of weeks. But he's been he's been on a couple times. Um but then we were just on like Instagram video chat like a couple of days ago, just kinda like chopping it up, just chatting. But yeah, so I've had, right had I've had a so few where are you based out of? Uh just uh about forty five minutes from Toronto in Ontario. Nice. Yep, yep. Nice. Mm-hmm. But yeah, and yeah, I have I have so many more like so many owners that I've like reached out to that I'm gonna reach out to. Um I just reached out to uh to I forget his name, but the wizard from from Fable. Colin? Yeah, Colin, yeah, that's his name. Um yeah, yeah reached yeah. out to him today. Um and then Kevin, the owner of uh, Educated Beards. Yes. Like I I've I have i have talked to him pretty regularly and he's gonna be on at some point. Um one of his uh, ambassadors are in my live streams all the time. Who? He goes by the name Brewer. Oy oh, Brewer. yeah. Yeah, Oy Brewer. Yeah, he was on my podcast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. He's yep. in my live streams all the time, dude. Nice. All the time. Yeah, he's a yeah. good dude. Yeah, totally. Very yeah. simple. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, really good dude for sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, I had him on. Um, Going to get Kevin at some point. I'm uh, in the process of, of uh, coordinating timing with, uh, with Dan C., Really? Yep. Nice, man. Yeah. So me, yeah, me and him, and then Andy from Beard Tings, we're gonna, we're gonna get on together, and who knows how long that's gonna run for? <laughs> uh, probably as long as you let it. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Very knowledgeable. Yeah. And then I was talking to Seth today, and I was like, I think it would be epic if we could get me, me and him, and Scuba on a on an episode. I feel like that could be like. That could break. T that could break five hours easily. <laughs> oh yeah, it's probably gonna break your uh, views too. <laughs> or any Facts. records you have. Oh, hundred like, percent um, guaranteed. <laughs> oh yeah, Scuba's funny, dude. Oh, totally. Uh, it's Facts. just getting him being able to coordinate a time. <laughs> yeah. Because like literally, dude, he's he's everywhere. Like he's he's always doing something. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> like he's 140,000 subscribers or something like that. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. And it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And like the thing that I like about like, especially scuba, like he's like, cause Dan, like him and Dan here, their, their style is so different, mm -hmm. but both options are so good to watch. But like scuba's like, scuba's like the, I don't know. I don't know the actual age difference, but I feel like scuba's like the goofy younger brother. Who's like, the center, like the center of the party, like, and then like Dancy's kind of just like chilling, like in like a small group, having like a nice like in depth conversation. Um, oh yeah, that's kind of how I'd like picture them like in the midst of like a party. <laughs> I think Dan's older, maybe. I'm yeah, not sure. I don't know. It's or Scuba may that, be older. I don't know. I don't. Then that's that's the thing, like <laughs> with like the with with beards and like trying to figure out how old people are. It's like forget about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know I had somebody ask me how old I was the other day. And when I told them, they yep. were like, no way. I was like, yeah, dude. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, same. Yeah, when I talked to uh, when I talked to Johnny, um, I think it was Johnny. He asked how old I was. And I was like, yeah, 20 turning 21 in uh, in January. And he was like, no way. <laughs> oh, I'd, I'd figure you to be about 21, 22. Yep. Yeah. yeah. See, I'll be 40 next year, dude. 40. Really? Oh, yeah. I'm old. <laughs> Super old. <laughs> but... I mean, yeah, man, up until, like I said, five, six years ago, I didn't have any facial hair. Wow. All goatee. Okay. But that was it. And then yep. I just got tired of shaving. I hate shaving all the time. I hate Facts. it. Oh, yep. hundred percent. It takes too much time, man. Yep. So then yeah. I just start, I just started letting it grow and then like it got really long and then I wanted to cut it off and then I trimmed it up. Yep. And then my the lady that used to cut my hair I, I was having her trim the bottom and she ended up going in right oh here. no yeah dude so now i have it's taken a while to grow back but yeah there's a spot down here that's super short damn brutal yeah, yeah. like 
Yeah, that's why I, I just I, know now not to let anybody else cut it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I've only I've done like a couple trims really, but mostly I'm just letting it go. Like, mm-hmm. actually, uh, yesterday was a full year since I was last clean shaven. Um, because I did I participated in uh, Movember last year and like just grew the mustache. Baby face and the mustache is just not a good look for me. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I and baby face, I look about was well, a picture I just posted on my Instagram recently. It's like mm-hmm. I look like I'm about 16 or 17 <laughs> without the beard, and it's just uh, oh, yeah, beards make a big difference, man. 100%. And like, mm. everyone, like, everyone that I've seen the before and after, it's well, I had to be said to me recently, like, you look like a totally different person. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, I'm like, oh, yeah. I, do, man. I look like it. I look like I'm 15, dude. If I don't have a beard, <laughs> seriously, I look yeah. super, super young, man. Yeah, which had to pay off in the long run, hopefully. True facts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's what. That's kind of what I was like before you said you were you were 40. I figured probably like, like late 20s, like early 30s, maybe. Nope. I'll be I'll be 40 in July. Cool. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely. Yeah. It's always tricky. Like trying to guess it and trying to figure it out it's like just, well that you don't even know how big a person's face is until yep. they shave and then <laughs> the beard adds like six to eight inches you know what i mean <laughs> like yep <laughs> damn that dude shaved and he like lost half his face yep <laughs> yeah, it's yeah that that, that, that kind of happens with me like it's like my like my jawline is not super defined but with with the beard you can kind of fake it mm-hmm. but <laughs> yeah without it it's mine just, is mine goes almost to like an angle okay my, my facial structure cool and yeah. like that's why my beard can't really see it but i it grows at an angle like yeah that. but yeah, i've trained that. it to do that so cool. it, yeah 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 this is this is the longest my beard has ever been because i just kind of also shaving is dumb and i look <laughs> I, I look better with the beard versus without it so <laughs> i feel the same way dude i yeah. feel the same way mm-hmm <laughs> Yeah, it's just, and like I've had like various family members be like, "Yeah, you should shorten it or shave it." And like, I actually did like a an Instagram poll like a couple weeks ago on like my main personal page, um, and I think like fifty or sixty percent said they like the beard, and but then there was still like thirty or forty percent that said no beard is better, and I was like, "Are are you crazy?" Really? <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> Like yeah, I understand. Yeah. Like, like I understand people arguing like for a shorter beard, but because like I have done like a goatee type thing and it looks it looks good, but it's like takes years off me. <laughs> yeah, some people some people uh, can pull off like a what I call a business beard. Yeah, totally. Shortcut. Mm-hmm. Me, I I just can't, man. Like I don't, yep, I don't like it. It almost yep. makes the bottom of my face look bushy. Yeah. And yeah, I just don't work. Yeah, no, it's just nah. And yeah, if well, I'm at like what now, fourteen months. I wow, think, but I haven't nice. Shaved, or you know, I haven't really. I had one trim about six months ago, and that was okay. It. Cool, <laughs> but I'm all, I'm just gonna let it keep growing, dude. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. See what I can get. Totally. See, see what my terminal length is. <laughs> yep. Facts. Um. Yeah. Like. Yeah. I'm also the same way. Just kind of growing it out. Just kind of seeing what happens, and because you got it because whether you're you're like clean shaven or with a beard you got to spend product you got to spend money on products somehow mm-hmm. buying beard products is way more fun than buying shaving products <laughs> well yeah and i mean beard products are expensive but at For the sure. same time if you if you get into shaving man like some of that stuff's expensive mm-hmm. like the cartridges for your razor or if you use a straight razor whatever yeah like it, totally. all gets, it all gets pretty expensive oh yeah yeah, like my like the razor that I that I use to like line up my cheeks. Um, like you can get a five pack of those blades for like forty five or fifty bucks, and it's like that's crazy. I, mm-hmm. It is. It like is. It, it's it's cheaper to buy a whole new razor. <laughs> I mean, like when you start getting into like the science side of it, or like an actual routine, mm-hmm. like I have, it does get yeah. expensive. for sure. I, mean, I have certain washes, certain co washes, uh, pine yeah. tar. Uh, yeah. A lighter stripping soap, mm-hmm. uh, different oils, different butters, different balms. Yep. Different combs, different brushes. <laughs> yep. Like I have two sets of Chicago combs, one in the shower, one cool. on the one on the counter, yep. and then I use a uh, detangling brush. And okay. 
it's crazy, man. It gets expensive, but at the same time, like <laughs> yep. that's my hobby now. Totally. That's it's like my thing. I don't drink, yeah. I don't smoke, I don't yeah. you know what I mean? I don't do mm-hmm. anything. So that's where my money goes. Totally. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's just and then it also it also like gives you a chance to like make content. Like nobody mm-hmm. wants to see like shaving products, but like there's this whole bearded community. Like it's all around beard products and like all the different ones that are available. Well, see, I mean, I don't know if you're aware, but there's a whole probably twice as big community of shaving. I mean, yeah. There's a, there's a shaving community and they, they get <laughs> even more scientific than we do. Like really? they had, yeah, they have different blade thickness that they use for certain parts of their head or their face. Oh yeah, bro. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah me either until a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> I started looking at the other side of it. Yeah. No, I would, I'd have to shave every day if I wanted to stay clean shaven. And <laughs> I'm just, I'm just not about that. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, it's just. No, yeah, no, I probably, I will probably die with a beard. Same, 100%. Yep. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, this never, is me. never, yeah, never going clean shaven again. Never, 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 never. <laughs> what's, um, kind of switching gears a little bit. What's, uh, what's some of your favorite music that you like listening to? Uh, heavy metal. Ooh, okay. I'm a big Slipknot fan. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I've been a Slipknot fan since I was in my teens. Nice. Like they're, they've been around forever. Um, yeah. I'm starting to get into some of the newer stuff like Motionless and White. Um, okay. Wage War. Mm-hmm. Um, Fire from the Gods. Mm-hmm. Like there's, and then I like old school rap music. Nice. Yep. Like Dr. Dre. Cool. Um, Eminem, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yep. I can't listen to this stuff. Yep, fair. <laughs> I just can't. Like, it yeah. doesn't make sense. To me. Yeah, totally. That's fair. There's no substance to it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally. I don't want to yeah. knock it too much because it's no, still sure. music. But yeah, at the same time, like, I just can't get into it. No, I know it. what you're saying. For sure. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Seth and I yeah. talked about that a lot. And, like. What about like, yourself? Oh, I listen to, I listen to everything, basically. Like, everything except, like, country music up until recently. Like recently i've kind of been dabbling a little bit more just because i'm like i'm basically always like unless i'm like actively like in school or working like i'm listening to music mm-hmm. so like i'm always but yeah like rap um and like classic rock and i've always been a big fan of michael jackson so hey, listen to a lot of his stuff so lots of different and then like i have like a big like movie soundtracks playlist that i listen to like i just play in the background when i'm editing or like doing photos or whatever um so whole bunch of everything nice. but like i can listen to like old 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 country mm. old country yeah but i can't like a lot of the newer stuff just the same way i can't yeah i can't listen to it it doesn't make sense yeah totally it's almost like pop music yeah facts but it's like <laughs> that music they just mass produce to make yeah, money totally um yeah dude i'm a big music fan i've mm-hmm. always been into music um it sucks i can't go to concerts anymore yeah uh i went to uh not fest last year and it was okay uh, slipknot um volbeat cool. gojira okay and, uh, behemoth and cool. it was one of the best shows ever yeah totally but I, but I see slipknot every chance i get nice uh, you'll awesome. never see another show like that uh, yeah totally it's a huge show but uh mm-hmm. yeah heavy metal man that's awesome. probably my go-to i mean <laughs> i can go to sleep to heavy metal that's easy listening for me <laughs> nice <laughs> i can unwind a heavy metal but, that's awesome uh, yeah totally yeah man mm-hmm. big music fan uh starting to find out that my daughter she's nine months old okay uh, she likes uh 50s and 60s like motown nice uh, one day she was upset and i just started playing random music on my phone mm-hmm. and uh i don't know if you're aware of little richard tutti mm-hmm. Cruz. oh yeah that's her jam dude like nice. I put that on and she starts like dancing. <laughs> yep. That's awesome. It's like Elvis and stuff nice. like that. Nice. Love me some yeah. Elvis. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's good awesome. stuff. Totally. Yeah. So I was happy about that. She's in <laughs> Of course. Yeah. That's, especially like, yeah, as a big, like if you're a big fan, like definitely like having, like having like your kids, like get into it as well as fun. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, you also, you also did a, uh, a launch with, uh, with weird beard co recently how was that that was awesome it was uh it was a total different experience mm-hmm. uh 
I was so epically stoked to do that. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'm not going to say I was more stoked than they were, but I think I felt like I was launching my own company. Totally. <laughs> uh, yeah. I wanted nothing more than for them to succeed. Of course. Um, I believe they reached out to me to do a review. Cool. And I was like, uh, okay, uh, I haven't heard of your company. Who are you? Where are you from? Like, yeah. what the product's about? And they're like, well, we officially haven't launched yet, but we were trying to get stuff to a reviewer. That mm -hmm. way, when we do launch, they can launch a review. And I'm like, cool. well, why don't you send me your product and uh, we'll go from there. Well, cool. I received the product and I was like, hey, uh, let's launch your product live on my Instagram. Nice. And, uh, excuse me, it all kind of worked mm -hmm. out. Yeah, and totally. It was, I had a big turnout. Like, mm -hmm. There was a lot better than what I thought. You know, we cool. were running a discount code mm -hmm. yep. during the stream. Yep. Um, that may come to fruition as a permanent one. Not mm -hmm. as much, but yeah. we did a giveaway. Yeah. It just so happened it was well, it was on Halloween, right? Or no. There's it was like, I think it was a couple Halloween. days before. Yeah. I think. Yeah, it was close. But, like it worked out, man. Their mm -hmm. scents are amazing. Cool. Uh, their products are amazing. Awesome. They, their scents are strong. Yeah, but, cool. But they evolve in beer, and then they mm. mellow out, and they just stick with you. Yeah, cool. Good stuff, dude. Like That's it, awesome. It, it was a very, very, very good process. For sure. Um, they kept me updated. Like, cool. I had the product a month or so before. Ooh, fun. And they they kept me updated. They're like, man, uh, we're waiting on one more set of labels, or we're waiting on one more set of bottles. And like, <laughs> cool. cool. But I'm so ready to just do this. And totally. Because have a date. Okay. And I was like, oh, man, I don't want it to interfere with this. And I don't want your stuff to come out the same time as somebody else's comes out. Because then True. if it's an established company, it's going to kill your sales. Yeah. You know, let's let's shoot for, you know, I mean, a very opportune time. And of course. Yeah, you got to be strategic man. about it for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's like awesome. Was, we, we both, you know, they and I, we, we kind of grew through the process together. For sure. Totally. Because it was That's my first time launching a company. Yeah. And I just wanted to, you know, wanted it to be successful. Of course. Yeah, that's but awesome. Everybody came together, man, and mm -hmm. uh, showed up and showed a lot of support and a lot of love. Totally. Yeah, that's epic. Um, yeah, I was, I was watching, I was in there um, for most of it. I had to bounce out because I was, like, responding to messages and that kind of stuff. But, yeah, I was in there. It was definitely, it was fun to see, like, everybody, how I, like, excited everybody everybody was and was in the chat and, like, seeing, like, you guys, like, you and the owners interact. Like, yeah, it was definitely it's definitely, I think that's a smart concept and like something that like, I'm sure there's more companies now than like before that did that, but like either it's like a whole new company or like new sense, like getting like content creators involved just cause, cause then it, it just increases your reach, especially like, um, I was watching one of Dan C uh, bearded videos today on, uh, I think Viking beard co. Um, like it was, I think it's from, it's from a couple months ago. Um, but like they were just they were just getting started out and then like he did a review for them um and like getting like especially like somebody like him like getting all those eyes like on your product like it's gonna like bring in sales like instagram interactions like all that I mean, kind of stuff dan c goes live there's gonna be at least 150 to 200 people in his live stream yeah totally you know what i mean so yeah there's at least 200 sets of eyes not counting who they tell or mm -hmm. people that catch the video later mm -hmm. like Oh yeah, man. Like it's a big deal. Totally. Especially, I mean, anybody launching a new company is a big deal. Of course. When Dan does it, it's, 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 it's a different experience. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. I think that's definitely, yeah. Good on uh weird beard coat for doing that. It's definitely, it's a cool, it's a cool idea for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And there's, like I told them, like there's more people that are going to reach out now. There's more people mm -hmm. that are, you know what I mean? Yeah. Even if mine didn't give you enough exposure, it got you seen by the bigger people that can give you more exposure. Totally. You know, you're not just a new company that came in. Yeah, like, for sure. Because uh, I don't know if you caught it, but at the end, Dan C came in, the Cousins came in, yep. Bluegrass came in. Like <laughs> That's awesome. All the bigger reviewers came in and were like, yeah, man, this is awesome, dude. We're yeah, gonna totally. Show love. Mm -hmm. Like, cool, man. I appreciate it. But mm -hmm. that put Weird Beard on their radar. Of course. So, yeah. I was excited. Totally. Super excited. What's your, uh, what's your favorite scent from them that you've tried so far? Uh, clean cut. 
Ooh. Hands down, clean cut. That's their their barber shop type one, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, cool. Me personally, I would compare it to uh, Beard Octane. Okay. If cool. I could compare it to because they had you know it's a different style of barber shop. It's a fresh, a clean. It's not the powdery. Towel yeah. Anymore. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're on my list for sure. And I actually did a. Uh, they posted a a video in their Instagram story of like just like them, like panning down like the ro- like the rows of shelves with like that all their products were on mm-hmm. um like a little while ago i saw i saw that and i was like if there was like a filter on this and some music this could be really cool so i just like did a screen record like screen recorded the video on their story mm-hmm. and then like saved it to my phone and then um just edited it with an app, with an app on my phone and then sent it back to them and then they reposted it in their uh in their story that's awesome, dude. Which is cool. But yeah, so that's when yeah. I first that's when I first heard about them, and then you know, like I I got like shared their stuff like every once in a while, and yeah, definitely gonna try them out at some point for sure. Should, dude. Yeah, get it's, maybe get get them on here as well. Yeah, dude, they're they're a blast to talk to. Totally, like a blast. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. That's awesome. Um, where do you want this to go? Like your, your podcast, where, like, what's your, what's your goal? Hmm. I just want to, I, yeah, the main thing is I just want to, I want to keep getting people on and keep doing episodes and like keep improving so that I can like, as I get more people on, they'll grow, I'll grow. And then, and then as I get more people on, like, and I, as I, like, as I've experienced growth, then they'll experience more growth. And then it's just kind of, just more exposure for like everybody, which is kind of, that's kind of, that's kind of the main thing. It's just more, uh, more exposure for like everybody that comes on here. Um, and just get, like getting that out to a bigger, like a bigger audience. And like, since I've, since I've started doing this, I've gained like my views have gone up. My subscribers have gone up. Like I think I'm up 28 subscribers in the last 28 days, which is kind of fun. Um, that's, that's great growth. Mm-hmm. That's like, I've had, like it, it almost seemed like a struggle to get to a hundred. Totally. Yep. And then after one hundred, like it, I turned around and I had to two hundred. Yep. Definitely. And it's two fifty. I'm almost there. Yep. And three hundred. Yep. And now I'm at like three twenty one, I believe. Yep. Something like that. Yeah. I think, um, yeah. Some. Yeah. Around there. Like in three months, it's not bad. Totally. So yeah. And like I'm very, very happy with it. Yeah, hundred percent. And between, I've also like I've done a couple reviews as well on on my channel recently, but it's it's interesting. The uh, like these podcasts, even though they're longer, um, they seem to like, like every one of them like has done well, like, and even better than like any reviews that I've done. Like the one I did with, uh, with Oif Brewer. Um, I think that hit, that's hit like 93 or 94 views in like maybe a week. That's awesome, dude. Which is, which is great. Like a crazy, like a crazy spike. And I was kind of surprised by it. But, well, I've noticed, like, I don't, and you probably can too, or you may, the longer you go, but, like, my original videos, like, 25, 30 views. Yep. Then, then they started hitting 50, and then 60, and then 80, and then I dropped a first impression for uh, Black Rebel Beetlejuice. Okay, cool. And that hit almost, well, no, I think it was 300. Wow. And then from that point on, my regular videos and even the past ones, the views started skyrocketing. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. Like Same things happened to me. Yep. Yeah. Totally. Like now I'm averaging about a hundred views per video, cool. which is happy. I'm happy with right now. Of course. I, mean, I only have like 35 videos anyway. So yeah, I'm still, fair. I'm still new. Yeah, totally. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah I'm, for sure. I'm, I'm ecstatic with it. Yeah. hundred percent. That's like when you reached out, I was like, Hmm. Yeah. Let's do it. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Totally. Not necessarily just to, just for the exposure, but just for, it's, you're meeting another person. You're of course. making another connection. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know what I mean? It's like when my new stuff comes to fruition, mm-hmm. I can hit you up and be like, hey man, you want to, you want to be on? 100%. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Networking. Yep. Totally. That's, that's what it is. Yep. Awesome. Awesome yep. concept. Totally. Yeah. Networking, growing the community. But yeah. Um, yeah. So we're, we're at about an hour and 10 uh, at this point. Uh, so I can, we'll let you go wrap up here. Um, but this okay. has been, this has been a lot of fun. Um, I appreciate it, man. Yeah. Really thanks again for coming on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah. It's always, and that's been one of the things that's fun. It's like, 
reaching out to people and then like them saying like them saying yes and then reaching out like again like them reaching out like later on saying like they're excited and then like especially like after we do it and they're they say they enjoyed it and they just like seems like it was like a good conversation that's also like encouraging and just like motivates me to keep doing it and keep bringing oh yeah dude this is awesome like like you this was more of a conversation for sure rather than being on somebody's show and they're like so what's your favorite product what yep. you, you have a beard right now yeah the best part of testing like no nah, this is a conversation <laughs> I yeah appreciate it. yeah totally i've been i, I start i kind of started out more that way with like a lot of prepared questions but like i've been so busy because i've been like i've put it i've recorded six episodes in like the last like seven days wow so I, dude <laughs> that's some hustle oh yeah that's i've yeah i've done because i did two episodes on wednesday one on on Friday, one on Saturday, one yesterday, one today, and then I'm talking to Ryan from uh, Clever Beard Co. tomorrow. Um, tomorrow nice. afternoon. Yep. I got products coming from them. Yep, same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, somebody want a giveaway and they pass it to me because they oh, already nice. had it. Cool. So I was like, all right, cool, man. That's awesome. But yeah, they uh, they posted recently that they're looking for some reviewers to like check out their uh, upcoming Thanksgiving scent. Um, so I like responded to them and I was like, yeah, definitely. So they're going to be sending so that out. So you got it yet? Uh, not quite yet. Oh, right on. Yeah, but right. Ryan said in the next couple of days. Sweet, dude. Yeah. Sweet. But yeah, it's I love doing this. It's a fun time. It's ed- the editing's not hard. Um, prep's not too crazy. But yeah. I'm good. I'll hit you up when I start editing more. Hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. What What do you use? What app do you use on your phone? So on my phone, I use InShot, um, and it's it's just it's a free app, but you can pay. I think it's like. 359 a month and you get access to like more effects more features um and like that kind of stuff um and then also you then you don't have the uh the in shot watermark on your videos if you uh, if you pay for it mm-hmm. which that kind of thing would bother me um so yeah I, I use adobe uh, yeah Spark cool to do all my thumbnails oh yeah spark I, is great I could, yeah i couldn't have that watermark dude yeah no 100 percent. it's just like like most people really won't notice it especially if it's like a really cool thumbnail but like like you'll see it there and it'll just like yeah. just like a little needle in like like the back yeah, of your head just like poke, me, just poking yeah. at you yep totally yeah. cuz <laughs> i didn't in the first i didn't ha- i didn't take it off i'm like now yeah. i have to of course yeah it's yeah you got to yeah excuse me yeah, no, but yeah man, this is fun dude 100% um yeah we should do it again sometime 100% yeah even and then if it's not recorded we can yeah. just no, absolutely. 100%. Yeah. No, I'm always down for that. Yeah. Like my evenings are, it, it actually works out pretty nicely. Like with like my work schedule and school, like my evenings are pretty, uh, pretty wide open. So I'm How much always down. You got left? Uh, so this is, I'm in my third of four semesters. Um, nice. yeah. So I'm done, nice. done, done in uh, April, which is going to be sweet. Dude. Very exciting. So the end's in sight. Oh yeah. Go. Yeah. Congrats, dude. Thanks. Yeah. And also I'm like, I'm that's, one of the things that's made like the last like couple of weeks, like challenging, like as I've been like getting more into like doing like these reviews and these podcasts and I'm like, I just want to be done school for, for winter break so that I can just like put out more videos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I yeah it's like that. December 15th. I'm done. And then it's just all the reviews. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Can't wait to see some content, dude. Mm-hmm, for sure. So what about this one? Yeah. So this would be good. So I'm trying to think. So I've got, I just dropped one with uh, with Johnny yesterday, and then I've got one dropping um, with a member of the Bearded Villains from the UK um, mm-hmm. on Thursday, and then I've got a chat with uh, Johnny and Jose, the Bearded Rose. Um, oh yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, I heard about yeah. that. Oh yeah. yeah, I heard that yeah. was pretty good. Oh, it was a good time for sure. Um, so that goes live on Sunday, and then and then the one with Seth will go live the following Thursday. And I did one with uh, with Josh from Embrace the Beard Life uh, mm-hmm. yesterday. He's um, an amazing guy. Facts, yeah, such a good Absolutely dude. Absolutely amazing. And then so that one, all around, hundred percent. And that one will be the following Sunday, and then this one will be the following Thursday, probably. So about two weeks. Yeah, somewhere around there. Just because I've done I've done so many recently, but yeah, I'll I'll post about it when it goes live, and I'll send you the link and like all that kind of stuff, so you'll know. That's great, dude. I appreciate yeah, it for sure. Yeah, thanks. Really, thanks again for coming on. Uh, thanks for having me, dude. Absolutely, he's done. 100%. Cool, cool, cool. All right, brother. All right, sweet. Cheers, later.